I am a practicing Christian. I disagree with your claims that the comforter Jesus spoke about in John 16 was Muhammad. Because in the 13th verse of John 16, he mentions the spirit of truth, but Muhammad, peace be upon him, was a man, not a spirit. So how can this be Muhammad? This question is, the question is posed by a brother in Ghana who is a Christian, and he says he disagrees with my statement that the prophecy of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, about the coming of the Comforter is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, because he quotes the Gospel of John chapter 16, verse number 13, saying that here Jesus Christ says that he'll be a spirit, and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa was a man, not a spirit. What the brother is quoting is Gospel of John chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, which says, in which Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says, it's in red letter. Red letter means Jesus Christ himself says. It's mentioned, it's mentioned in Gospel of John chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, I have many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto truth. He shall guide you unto all the truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that he hears shall he speak. He shall show you things to come. He shall glorify me. Now here, in this prophecy, I do agree with you that one of the, in verse number 13 of Gospel of John 16, it says the spirit, the comforter is referred as a spirit. The word, the actual word for the comforter that is used, it's a translation. The real meaning is the person who is praiseworthy the word used here, but they have wrongly translated comforter, but irrespective of whether it's praiseworthy or whether it's comforter, both are valid. Here, the word, the spirit is used, but before if you read the full, complete three verses, it says, Jesus Christ people says, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now, for he, he means a man, a spirit is not called he. So Jesus Christ people say, he, when the spirit of truth shall come. The spirit of truth will come to it later on. He, means a man. He, he, when the spirit of truth shall come. He shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that he hear, shall he speak. He shall glorify me. He shall show you things to come. So he here is mentioned seven times. Now he, 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 means a man, man, man. And spirit of truth, there are two meanings of spirit of truth. One spirit can mean like a jinn, not a man. And the second spirit means a person of truth, meaning a messenger. So one of the meanings here, you have taken the wrong meaning of spirit of truth, meaning to say it's a jinn or it's an angel. That's one of the meaning. The second meaning we can say spirit of truth can be a messenger of God. But to know which is correct, the other seven times when the masculine gender is used, he, 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 it means a man. So between the two, the right thing is talking about a person, a man to come. So this prophecy refers no one to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It refers to him and no one else. And there are various other reasonings that I've given in my lecture, Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the Bible. Hope that answers the question.